Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 2 of class 7 mathematics, fractions and decimals. We already learned about fractions. Now we are going to the section decimals. We already learned about decimals in earlier classes. Let us learn or recall them here with some examples. We have already learned about decimal numbers in the earlier classes. Let us recall them here. Look at the number 253.147. We can rewrite it as or we can expand it as 2 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1. We can rewrite this portion as 2 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1 plus in this portion after decimals the right side of decimals can be written as 1 into 1 by 10 plus 4 into 1 by 100 plus 7 into 1 by 1000 we can write the number from this expanded form that is 500 that is 500 plus 1 tens this 1 plus 4 ones that is 4 here this is the number in the left of the decimal point and now look at this portion that is right of the decimal point 2 into 1 by 10 that is point 2 plus 5 into 100 that is here it is 5 plus 1 in 1 into 1 by 1000 that is 1 2 into 1 by 10 plus 5 into 1 by 100 plus 1 into 1 by 1000 so the right of the decimal point it is 2 5 1 and we can rewrite the expanded form as 514.251 here is a problem john has rupees 15.50 and Salma has rupees 15.75. Who has more money? To find this, we need to compare the decimal numbers 15.50 and 15.75. To do this, we first compare the digits on the left of the decimal points. That is, we have to compare the numbers left on the decimal point, starting from the leftmost digit. That is starting from the leftmost digit. Here both the leftmost digits are 1s. Left of the decimal point in both these numbers are the same. So we compare the digits on the right of the decimal point starting from the tens place. We find that 5 and 7. Here the left of the decimal point both the numbers are same. The leftmost one here it is 1 and here also it is 1. So, it is not comparable. It's same. And here 5. Here also it is 5. The digits right to the decimal point. That is 5 and 7. That is 5 is less than 7. So, we say 15.50 is less than 15.75. Thus, Salma has more money than John. Salma has more money than John. We can also compare 35.63 and 35.67. The numbers left of the decimal point is same. The digits left of the decimal points are same. That is, both these digits are same. And in the right of the decimal point, on the tenth position, both we get the same digits 6. In the rightmost, it is 3 and 7. That is, this number is the greater 1 because 3 is less than 7. And the next 20.1 and 20.01. In the left side of the decimal point, both the digits are same and in the right, it is 1. Right of the decimal point, here it is 1 and 0. 
So we can say 20.1 is greater digit. And the next is 19.36 and 29.36. Here in the left of the decimal point, both the numbers are different. Both the digits are different. 1 is less than 2. So we can say 29.36 is the greatest number. While converting lower units of money, length and weight to their higher units, we are required to use decimals. For example, 3 pi say, that is rupees 3 by 100, can be written as rupees 0 0.03. 5 gram can be written as 5 by 1000 kg and it is written like this 0 0.005 kg. 7 centimeter can be written as 0 0.07 meters. We also know how to add and subtract decimals. Here is two numbers 21.36 plus 37.35. We first add the digits right of the decimal points and then add the numbers left of the decimal point. In the subtraction we follow the same. Exercise 2.5 which is greater. 0.5 or 0 0.05. Here 0.5 is 5 by 10 and 0 0.05 means 5 by 100. Since 5 by 10 is greater than 5 by 100, 0.5 is greater than 0 0.05. The next question is 0 0.7 or 0 0.5. Now we compare the digits right of the decimals 7 is greater than 5 for that 0.7 is greater than 0.5 the third question is 2.30 or 2.03 to compare the numbers first we took the digits left of the decimal point that is in these cases it is 2 in both numbers it is 2 now we took the digits right of the decimal points that is here it is 3 and in the tenth position here 3 and here it is 0 6 3 is greater than 0 we can say 2.30 is greater than 2.03 now 0 0.8 or 0 0.88 which is greater Eight. first we compare the digits right of the decimal point which is similar in both numbers and next we took the rightmost digit that is 0 and 8 that is 0 is less than 8 so we can write it as 0 0.88 0 0.88 is greater than 0 0.8 second problem is express as rupees using decimals First question is 7 by say it can be written as 7 by 100 that is 0 0.07 rupees. The second one is 7 rupees 7 by say can be written as 7.07 .07 rupees. 7.07 .07 rupees. 7 rupees 7 by say. The next is 235 by say. 235 paise it can be written as 235 by 100 and is equal to rupees 2.35 in the third roman first question is express 5 centimeter in meter and kilometer that is 5 centimeter by 100 to change 5 centimeter into meter we divide 5 by 100 then we get 0 0.05 meters and to change 5 centimeter into kilometer, we change, we divide 5 by 1 lakh. Then we get 0 0.00005 kilometer. To convert centimeters to kilometers, multiply the centimeter value by 0 0.00001 or divide by 1 lakh. Express 
थर्टी फाइव मिली मीटर इन सेंटी मीटर मीटर किलोमीटर कन्वर्ट थर्टी फाइव मिली मीटर टू सेंटी मीटर वी कैन डिवाइड इट बाई टेन वी कैन डिवाइड थर्टी फाइव बाई टेन वी गेट थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटी मीटर टू कन्वर्ट थर्टी फाइव मिली मीटर इन टू मीटर वी हैव टू डिवाइड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटी मीटर बाई हंड्रेड then we get 0.035 meter to convert 35 mm to kilometer we have to change first convert it into centimeter that is 33.5 cm to convert 35 mm into 3.5 cm as we know if we want to convert centimeter into kilometers we have to multiply it with 0.00 Zero zero one, or to divide it with one by one lakh. To divide the number by one lakh, that is three point five into one by one lakh. Then we get the answer point zero 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 three five kilometers. Express in kilograms, two hundred grams is equal to point two kilograms. Three thousand four hundred and seventy grams. Three thousand four hundred and seventy gram is equal to three point four seven zero kilograms. Four kilogram eight gram is equal to four thousand eight kilograms. Write the following decimal numbers in expanded form. That is twenty point zero three. It can be written as two into ten plus zero into one. This twenty means two into ten plus zero into one plus point zero three. Zero into one by ten plus three into one by hundred. Second question is two hundred point zero three. That is Two into hundred plus zero into ten plus zero into one. That means two hundred plus zero into one by ten plus three into one by hundred. That is point zero three. Now the next question is write the place value of two in this given numbers. In two point five six, the place value of two is in ones position. The next question, twenty one point three seven. The two's place value is tens. Two lies in tens position. The next number, the next number, ten point two five. Where two lies in tens, tens one by tens position. Nine point four two. Where two lies in hundreds, two into one by hundred, that is hundreds position. In the next number sixty three point three five two, where two lies in thousands position, that is two into one by thousand. While we return in expanded form, we can write it as two into one by thousand. That is two in thousands position. The next question is: Dinesh went from place A to place B, and from there to place C. A is seven point five kilometers from B, and B is twelve point seven kilometers from C. The next person: Ayu went from place A to place D, and from there to place C. D is nine point three kilometers from A and C is eleven point eight kilometers from D. Who travelled more? Who travelled more? And by how much? This is the question. Dinesh travelled from place A to B. The distance between A and B is seven point five kilometers. From B he travelled to C. Then. The distance between B and C is twelve point seven kilometers. The total distance he travelled is 
7.5 plus 12.7 is equal to 20.2 kilometers in total. The distance traveled by Ayu. First, he traveled from a place A to place D. The distance between A and D is 9.3 kilometers. And the, from D, and from D, he traveled to C. The distance between D and C is 11.8 kilometers. He traveled in total 9.3 plus 11.8 is equal to 21.1 kilometers. We add these two distances, we get 21.1 kilometer. Who traveled more? For that, we subtracted this 21.1 kilometer and 20.2 kilometers. That is 21.1 minus 20. 0.2 we get 0.9 kilometers or 900 meters. Are you traveled more because are you traveled 900 meters more than Dinesh? The next question is Shama bought 5 kg and 300 gram apples. Shama bought 5 kg 300 gram apples and 3 kg 250 gram mangoes. Sarala bought 4 kg 800 gram oranges and 4 kg 150 gram bananas. Who bought more fruits? This is the question. Shyama bought 5 kg and 300 gram apples and 3 kg 250 grams of mangoes. In total, she bought 5.300 plus 3.300. 250 is equal to 8.550 kilograms of fruits. Sarala bought 4 kg 800 grams of oranges and 4 kg 150 grams of bananas. 4 kg 150 grams of bananas. That is 4.800 plus 4.150 is equal to 8.950 kgs of fruits in total. Sarala bought 8.950 kgs of fruits in total. When we compare, 8.950 is greater than 8.550. That is, Sarala bought more fruits than Shyama. How much less is 28 kilometers than 46.6 kilometers? For that, we have to subtract 28 kilometers from 42.60 kilometers. That, then we get 14.60. 28 kilometers is 14.60 kilometers lesser than 42.6 kilometers. This is end of part 5 of fractions and decimals.